All right, everybody. Thank you for uh, being in another episode, uh, another uh, King's Cave 80 23? episode. 23? Oh, my God. Again. 24, 25, uh, you, you always caught me out of, of guard. I, I'm not sure <laughs> if it is 23, 24. Two, twenty-four. I think it's twenty-three. Something like that. Something like that. But um, thank you, thank you for for uh, the support again. We always gonna start. Thank you, thanking the thanking everybody, the, 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 the community, support, the yeah. community. We really, really appreciate you guys. Uh, we really appreciate every comment, every like, um, yep. Yep. every you know single view and all that. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. That that really helps us to to keep doing this. Motivates us, yeah. Yeah, it's that uh, like you you know the worst thing that that that. Uh, drunk guy can have is 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 uh having you know uh people to applaud him so <laughs> we're like that that drunken uncle you know yeah and, and if you guys keep you know yeah yeah, yeah just keep on liking yeah, and, and subscribing we'll, we'll yeah, stay motivated we, and keep we, going we keep saying st stupid stuff here <laughs> 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 no uh thank you guys thank you which is which is you know fun around like and, and kidding of course but uh but it really does like again we we we're gonna repeat this, you know, until it, until we actually decide uh, uh, decide to to make it profitable. But so far, we don't. We are we have the opportunity to make to to monetize, and we haven't done it. This is not for the money, really, guys. Yeah, so that's what we every, talked every about. Every like, every comment is just really, um, you know, mm -hmm. like kind of like gives the the the. the a reason the for boost, us to keep going. Yeah. The, I mean, yeah. it, to me, it gives me a reason to keep going, yeah. and you know. Mm -hmm. And it's not easy. It takes a lot. It takes a lot to put this together. So it does a uh, lot of time, a lot of effort, and 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 honestly, equipment, a lot of money. <laughs> so yeah, that's another thing. So, so there you go. There you go. So, uh, how you been, brother? Oh, man, I've been good. Have you good? I've been good. Everything's good on my end. I know everything's good on your end. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I know, for sure, I know for that. Sure. You're excited. I, I'm excited for you too, cause you got some <laughs> hell of a pieces, man. We did. We did. We did get a, a good lot together. So yeah. We're, 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 I'm just anxious to, to anxious to to for that one to arrive. Yeah. How about yourself? You say yes. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm really good. I'm really happy of all the feedback that we're getting and for my family, friends. It's really been a pleasure to 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 be like a new addition to the podcast. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm really happy. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I like people, that. I like people, that. people are digging. You know, he say yes questions and. The, he goes deep on the questions like because but that's because we're, we're not honestly you know like we said we're getting a perspective from a non-collector if you want to say that nah, yeah, yeah and yeah. so it's it's always good to see you know the other side of it the so perspective we're, from yeah, our, we're just used to seeing what what we see and mm. not what the other person that not really a collector sees. but honestly yeah he said he brings a nice a nice perspective but also a very educated perspective very nice very polite i, I think yeah. that was the word very polite <laughs> so i feel like like a lot, a lot of people, even though he kind of like made some um, judgmental faces <laughs> the last podcast, uh, I think he 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 brings you know a nice a nice perspective from, mm -hmm. from a non collector without bringing too much. Well, I mean, judgment. yeah, yeah. You know what? You're hundred percent correct. He was nice because I know somebody that doesn't collect would known about them them prices on them figures. It would have been to give find, a, find out their chair. Yeah, to so. give a little bit of a of a of a backstory. The last podcast in Spanish. We're talking about prices mm. and comparing and compar comparing a um, couple of figures, you know, from variants. And variants, like it's that. pretty and much variants. Yeah. Just to kind of get his like, yes, reaction, and and mm -hmm. then whenever we went from one, you know, regular figure to a variant, he was making these crazy faces and like. I think the craziest one he made was what uh, for the slam dunking. Yeah, down, right? slam dunking down, and mm -hmm. then uh, yeah, it, and it was a lot, a lot, of, a lot of nice figures. But you know what? But it, it was it was yeah. it was less judgmental than than I thought it was gonna be, honestly. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, I was I was shocked. I was surprised to see how how good he is. It, it seems like he was educated, believe it or not. I, I, like <laughs> I said, I don't know if it's because he's been sitting in these podcasts and uh, he's, he's been hearing us and talk about variants <laughs> and, and you know the years they come out and things like that. You know, uh, he, made, he, made he was looking good, at things pretty yeah. good. Yeah, that's like. Wow. Were you prepared to say yes at all or? No, not really, not really. I. Uh, I've been months since knowing you for months. I've been thinking about this. I've been trying to uh, get it into my head. Like how, how does it work? How does it make sense from my perspective? And I've come to respect it. And that's why maybe I wasn't that, that judgmental. judgmental. Oh, yeah. Wow. But okay. yeah, yeah. I, I like appreciate that. that. Yeah, you, you that's some out, kind like, of words there. That crazy. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. All right. So, well, let's, let's, let's move on. Let's move on. Um, What's today's topic about? We were talking about topics for today and we usually come up with topics as we go in our lives yeah. as, as Belie collectors believe it or not guys our topics 
actually happened right before. Yeah, it, it, the filming. It, we, so we we bringing it up like like the way that we live in the the the, the moment and the yeah, moment yeah. how we're collecting and all mm -hmm. that. And recently, and I don't want to spoil too much, but um, recently I made a big big trade. Oh, yeah. Maybe maybe if I got into it, I maybe maybe I can <laughs> reveal it. But but I haven't I haven't got the figure. We haven't seen each other because. The idea is that that this guy that I made the trade with, mm -hmm. he's gonna come visit me, and then he's gonna come down to to Houston, and we're gonna we're gonna make the trade happen. But we already made some money transfer and yeah. all that, so so the okay. trade is sure, sure. Okay, okay, okay. So I just don't want to spoil it, but but it was a big, big trade. I think it was a big trade. And I know it was. it was. Um, he wanted some figures of mm -hmm. mine that I swore. Yes, yes. I will never <laughs> let go. <laughs> like, I think, I think from your whole collection, or well, most of your collection, I think that was the last line that I would have thought that it, it was taking one it cold of dead the, hands. Of yeah, the, yeah well, I know the hardest, hardest pieces of my collection, which I never thought I would let go. Mm -hmm. And then he offered me money right first, and then he told me like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll buy it." And I'm like, "Nah, man. Right now, there's no." There's Unless no, you go uh, with a triple or quadruple prize, or whatever, yeah. like it's so stupid for me to not let go. Mm -hmm. But unless it's something crazy like that, yeah. I, I won't let go. Now for a fair price, because mm -hmm. I'm not interested in exactly. selling. Exactly. Yeah. I'm not gonna find those pieces for the price that I got them. I'm not gonna. And I'm I'm pretty sure a lot of people can understand where you're coming from. And, and there was like there's a lot of a lot of people that if they say the opportunity to make some buck, some money, they will do it. I, mean, I understand. But I'm not a reseller. Mm -hmm. I'm not much of a, a looking into selling my collection or anything like that. Most, if, if anything, I like to add on uh, yeah, pieces yeah. to uh -huh. my collection. I'll not. And he offered me money first, and then I was, um, I was like, "All right, let me back it up a little bit." It all started because <laughs> okay. I wanted to sell him a piece, and he was interested on in a piece. Okay. Uh, on a big piece, it was. Uh, I'm gonna give this one out. All right, so he. Was, you want to give it out? Not, not all of it, but. Okay. Uh, he was, I'm gonna let you do the talking because I don't want to say. I don't want to spoil anything. <laughs> so you, you go ahead. Okay, I, I was gonna sell him the Brontosaurus, like okay. the Dino Riders, mm -hmm. uh, uh, graded. Okay. In box, the one that I have. And he was, yeah, I'll I'll purchase that from you, which is goes for a pretty penny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I wanted to sell that one is because it's the only piece that kind of like doesn't match with my style of collecting. Mm -hmm. Everything that I have is either loose or if it is mock, you can see it through a bubble. You can see the free yes. figure or place or whatever through a bubble, right? So if you cannot see for me, for me, again. And you always yeah, you always been, uh, you always talked about that since yeah, I think since me, you started collecting. If, it do, if you don't see the, the figure, to me, it's just, I, yeah. I, I don't, well, I, I'm, I I'm not interested. From. And, but I got that Brontosaurus. I enjoyed it. But I was like, I, 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 could, I could let it go. Okay. And he was like, all right, I'll purchase that one off of you if you sell me this piece mm -hmm. that you don't want to let go. <laughs> and I'm like. Out of all the pieces, he wanted, yeah. But I don't want to let it go. Yeah. And he offered me money, which was um, not in that day. We were just we were talking and then he, you know, mm -hmm. he's a couple of weeks or whatever later. He sent me an offer. It was a fair offer. Honestly, it was what it was. What it's worth. What it's yeah. worth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like nothing, not too much more, not less. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was a fair offer. But like I said, I was not interested in selling. And then uh, he has a piece that he never thought he'll let go. Okay. And it's also super, super rare. And I want it on my collection. And I I told him I, I'm like hey, just let's just throw it up in there and see what happens. What like I will I will sell these pieces, mm -hmm. but if you put it in the trade, or you can bring in mm -hmm. the value of this figure into the trading, like trade is trade slash cash. Yeah, he was hesitant in the beginning because <laughs> he wasn't expecting me, but then at the end of the day, it was like all right. So for me, it makes sense. You know, it was something that I wanted it. For me to let go this piece that I that, that I never you don't want to let go, that, yeah. that I never thought I'd let go. I'm like, at least let me get a piece that I will. There will be no at regrets. Some point, yeah. At one point, mm -hmm. I think I've said it in the podcast. I don't think I will ever get that piece in my lifetime. In my lifetime. Oh wow! Okay, okay. Like, see how hard that piece is. I'm like, all right. So, 
I'm like, if you're willing to trade it in, put it in the mix. We can, we, I can think about it. I can. Yeah. And yeah, to let my, it sit and marinate for a little to, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to my surprise, we were like, all right, first of all, he was like, no, I think it's, you're not evaluating it right, which is a big deal when you're trading. You're trying to, to find the right value mm -hmm. on both ends. Uh, but at the end of the day, we ended up come on, coming up to an agreement. Uh, I will show you guys the trade once it's done because hey, I'm telling you guys. I mean, I know we're in the English podcast. We're, we're going to show it on both. We have to. We have to. It's yeah. one of those pieces that you just have to. And then um, uh, now, but it was it was it was a fun and interesting process to mm -hmm. trade, and we want to talk about that. And, and, so, and so let me let me ask you this: How was? I mean, because I've done that before, not not a big trade like this, but uh, you know, sometimes your heart, my heart starts pumping because you're just waiting to see what the person's gonna respond to, like it yes is. or no. Especially because you're texting, you're not like, yes. you're not uh, uh, seeing the person, you're not negotiating, uh -huh. and sometimes I feel like it's better negotiating for my for my personal experience in my business is better to to negotiate in person. Uh huh. But I feel like in this, for me. I have it's better. It, it gives me time to think about it because I have so much, so many emotions involved. In Pros this. and cons, yeah. Because yeah, I, yeah, I, I love that. so much my pieces and I love so much that piece that I want mm -hmm. that I'm afraid that for for the love of my piece I'm gonna miss on a good trade, or for the love of his piece I'm yep. gonna let go my my pieces for cheap. Mm -hmm. So that's why I feel like I don't want to do it live. I'd rather do it on like via text that way that way i can okay. i can okay for me so i can like let it sink process you're gonna process really process i don't want to yeah. jump on it and then say one thing and then oh man just because i wanted that i agreed on something that now probably i will regret later yeah so so yeah the topic for today was is, is trading versus buying and you know kind of like pros and cons mm -hmm. of trading versus buying so I think there's a lot of a lot of a lot of nice a lot of a lot of cool things to talk about this and and after the trade was made after the trade was like, we agreed on it. For me, it was a little bit of a bittersweet moment, mm -hmm. even though I still have the figures because you know we haven't met and we yeah. haven't seen each other since since we agreed. We have we still have to make meet, the transaction, make yeah, the no. transaction, and all that. I can still see my figures on my collection and then and, and I look at them and I'm like, I feel like they look at me like tra <laughs> traitor. Or, they, they like traitor. How dare you? How could have, you how know, could you? Yeah. How could you do You're this to me? And I'm looking at them. Look at them. I'm like, look at them, I'm like shame oh, on man, you. Shame on me. <laughs> but then I look back to the place where I will put the other piece and I'm like, Oh man, like I'm really excited for this piece. To, Just don't let them see you be so excited. I know. I know. <laughs> so, it, it was a bittersweet moment. It was a, mm -hmm. it was a really, I feel like I'm now making my, I'm having the time to, to make my peace with it. But, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, as long as, as long as both, both parties feel like, yeah, both making sacrifices. I could tell you that right now. Mm -hmm. Both, both, both trades. I, I think they're, like I said, it's, I, I told you that when we, when we talked about it, you know, when you first saw me, I told you this is, this is considered like an epic trade right here. Cause not something like this. You know, and I'm 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 really debated. I want to tell you which pieces, but I don't want to jinx it since it's not yeah. I mean, done fully. I mean, I know there's money. That, there's money that been that's been transferred already. So technically, it's the, 100 percent. It's, it's done. a done deal. But I'm just saying, you know, it, the the thing about I get until it's not in your hand is yeah. Is so 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 yeah. I'm just saying it, it to me. It was, it was an epic trade. Um, I mean, I, I was I was I was like, wow, that's. That's a hard piece, and I know how much you wanted it, and that's why I understood when you told me what you're gonna sacrifice. I'm like, I'm like man, you really, really want that piece. I could tell because I, I would, I, I didn't think that's one of the one of those pieces that you weren't gonna ever let go. You probably that would probably be one of the pieces you were gonna, that would remain if, if ever you let your collection go. That probably mm -hmm. be one of the pieces you would remain in your in your I was, collection. And, and I told, and I said that, and that's that's what I was talking about. I wanted to talk about trade versus versus buying or selling because. I would have never saw that piece mm -hmm. just for for about any like like I said if we, they would have offered me like double or triple yeah. the money all right so I'll buy it I'll find something I'll mm -hmm. just purchase it again or whatever but but I will never saw myself selling that one but yeah. if you think about it I I've said that I will never sell that piece but I really said on the podcast that that the piece that I'm getting mm -hmm. 
I said in the box, I don't think I will ever get that piece in my lifetime. Yeah. So it's a piece that I w- swore never, s- I, I will never sold. And, and so let versus me ask, a piece that I thought I will never get in my lifetime. And so lifetime. let me ask you this. What, what, um, do you feel like in this, in this deal, the person that, that made the trade with you, because we don't want to say names. We you know we want this to be. It'll a, be public a later. It's going to be public later. It's going to come guys. out. We're not, we're, not, we're not trying to be secretive, guys. So we're it's not. Just, it's, it's just not. I, don't, I just, I don't feel comfortable until I don't have it in my yeah, hands. Yeah, exactly. So, that, uh, you know, just bear, bear with us a little bit. And, you, you know, know I, yeah. I don't mind saying prices. I don't mind saying, like, you know, if, if the other person is comfortable, I don't mind saying names. Yeah. I'm fine with that. But it's just, it's not in my hand yet. Exactly. It's just, so, so just like I said, so just bear with us. It's, it's going to come to light. Mm-hmm. You know, it's nothing that's going to be behind closed doors. You're never going to hear about it. <clears throat> but so my question is, is, well, I don't know so much as a question, but my comment is, I think both parties are winning because yes, you, you like that line a lot as well. That's one of your favorite, but that's one of his favorite lines. Mm-hmm. And then it's pretty much, you know the other way around like I, your your line is is that line too is it's mm. one of your top lines that you have yes i th- i think it's a it's a it's a fair it's a fair it's a fair trade it's not straight up like it's not the exact same value right mm-hmm. so because what i'm bringing is you know not only the brontos hours but other pieces and all mm-hmm. that they cost more than what i'm getting yeah so there was I, I mean, one, I, there's money to be to be transferred of course but the 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 fact that there was a this can be called grail yes no i i agree i agree and maybe it may be no and it may be it may be i mean borderline holy grail to me honestly do you guys know how picky are we with the with this word with the word yeah i mean yeah, I, but i think the piece that i'm getting it's it's a holy grail it's one of the holy grails i i i think it's borderline that right mm-hmm. there I, I i really think so so I think pros with trading will be the fact that you could probably not end up paying the the market value okay. because you could have probably got the the piece that you're trading for for a lot cheaper. Mm-hmm. Maybe if you got it years and years ago, and then like if you think about it, he got that piece a long time ago and he didn't got it. For how much we value it, for sure. Yeah. But then the pieces that I got, I had them pre. Yeah, I. I yeah, so the, the, before the, before they, before they off, jump, yeah, before they jump, before they jump, and before you know. I don't want to give up too much, but <laughs> we're, we're trying. Yeah, I but, get but but it's like I'm, I'm understanding what you're saying, but I know I know the people. So are, at the end yeah. of the day, it's not. I know. We're both winning because yeah, the value he's putting in. I know he didn't pay for that, but the value that I'm putting in. I think I think once it comes to like people will understand because I understood. I understood right away. I I, I didn't say, oh man, you know he he screwed you over. Or, you know what you screwed him over, man. He didn't see you coming. I I honestly when I heard that trade, I'm like wow, that's that's a I, to me it's a fair trade. I, I mean think, I don't know I don't know what other people are gonna, but that's my opinion of course. Mm-hmm. But with those pieces. And and that one piece you're getting, it's I I think it's a fair trade. I I really do. Mm. And it's not it's not to take sides from anybody or say oh you know well he screwed up or you screwed up. It's I honestly think it's a fair trade because everybody for one at the end of the day here's the deal. It's a fair trade because everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. And, and, that's, and that's what you're talking day. about hard to find pieces. Sometimes we go to 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 the extreme certain links. Yeah. Yes. And. Like like you said, you know, you put it you you put it better, you put it best, you know. As long as we both the both parties end up like being happy with that's it. That's why it's a fair trade. That, yeah. th- to me, that's that's so. You you could you could always say there's always gonna be somebody criticizing, and that's because, why the trades are 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 so so nice. Yes, because both part when you make a trade, that means both parties are are comfortable with it. Mm-hmm. I would never make a trade for something that I'm like ah oh, you know I don't know I don't want to do that and then you're like okay I guess I'll do it then. You know, because somebody's pressuring you to do it. Yeah, or, no, no, no. I mean, this is a uh, like I said, when you trade, when you trade, you're actually bar. You you're making a, a you know a, a, um, what do you want? to, What's that word? Um, a, you know, your your agree, agreement. I'm agreement. It's, it's, it's an agreement that um that both parties are 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 happy with. They thought about it, mm-hmm. especially like I said via text. If you're actually texting, it gives you a little bit more time to think about yeah. the process. If you want to go with through with it or not, it and, gives you time to to, to yes, research and all yeah. that. But but Carlo. Do you know 
or do, do, do your opinion is that the trade is fair because you think honestly that it's actually fair or because you know how much Ulysses won that piece that he's getting? Well, I, I think it's fair, like I mentioned, when both parties are, are happy because me personally, I don't think, especially with the piece, with, with what this is, and I, I don't want to... I don't want to go categorize it with levels that we're in when it comes to trading, but both guys know their, their action figures. They, they know what it is. So I, I would think both won't, won't be, you know, screwed over if you want to put it that way. Mm -hmm. And both of them are satisfied with the trade. So no matter what anybody says, and that's what I'm getting at is there's always going to be somebody to say, Oh, Ulysses, he screwed up or, or, or this guy screwed up. Why did he do that? But at the end of the day, it, it wouldn't matter because they're happy with the trade. I mean, that, that when ultimately, I think that's the end, end, end goal is if you're happy and you're satisfied and you thought about it and you processed what you, you know, you, the trade that you actually wanted to do, then yeah, I, I don't see why. When it know. comes when it comes to collecting is ideas, there's a lot of things that, that a lot of people that is, even if they're collectors, if they're not in your shoes or in your position, they will be so easy to criticize because they, you can easily see this as, as pure numbers, mm -hmm. right? You can see a figure and just put a touch number next to it. But when you're collecting that piece and you've been looking for that piece for years or months or decades for some people, you know, I haven't been collecting for that long, but there's people that have. And I, I could agree and to that. Then, and then when you find that piece to another person will be X amount of money. To that person that wants it, it's going to be X, X. He's be willing to pay X, X. Even though it's only X, right, for, for that piece. Mm -hmm. Now, what I, it's the cool thing about the trading is that you can, you can come up with, 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 the, with the value, with trying to find a market value. And it was hard because both pieces are rare, so they're not frequently sold. Exactly. They're not in the market. Either to say. my piece and his piece. So we had to come up with pricings on our own. Um, I could say that one piece was a little bit. If you would put, let's let's put it this way: if you put it on the on the market on a, on an auction, it wouldn't gotten that high. I'm ninety nine percent sure, you know. So for why we value it, at. but then you come to the price of I don't want to let go my piece price. So he didn't want to let go. So we had to value it up a little bit for him to make sense. Now, why am I happy? Because with the figures that I got, my prices for, for the prices that I got, my pieces went up as well. Mm -hmm. So when you see it like purely numbers, e numbers yep. and economically for me, it was it will make sense. It don't matter how much he's pricing it at for whatever I pay for this, or how much I was like, all right, to me, it makes sense. I don't know if he, it, yeah, yeah. So it's a well thought trade. It's not it like has to it, be, it's, yeah. it's not like you are trading a coke for a for a, for gold in the desert. It's a really well uh, thought out trade. It's, I mean, both parties know what they what they want and what they're willing to let go, and that's why and it's how fair, much but, they put in their pieces. Okay, but but both uh, in numbers, both uh, both of the uh, the pieces are. In the same level, or is because of all of these reasons that? Oh no, no, no! The both is that they're not in the same level. I could say that because he's buying more than one piece from me. Mm. So, but 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 in this lot, there's one piece that is super super hard, the one that I have, mm -hmm. and then he only is is giving me one piece. So if you put it next to it, each other, it's probably. A little bit even, or probably he's is a little bit higher, but he's, he's getting like a bunch more from me, so that's why he's he, there had to be okay. money to be exchanged. Mm -hmm. But but at the end of the day, I felt like he didn't want to let go. He never offered that to me. I told him, I will I will consider it, consider yeah. it if you put this in the trading offer. So the cool thing about trading, it, it, I feel like it, is that you can you can get a little bit more for your money because even though in the records mean mine and his mm -hmm. this piece went for this month and this much and this piece was went for this much mm -hmm. but only him and i 
know how much we really pay for our pieces. Yeah. And that's where how much really we got it for. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, it, I don't it, know if it, we're confusing too much. No, but no, no. I so like I said, you know, you usually when it comes to trading, to me personally, I it'd be very hard for me to trade with somebody that I, I'm not too familiar with. And that's what I want to go for. And and so and so you know to kind of piggyback on what Ulysses said, um, um, he said yes. When when somebody's making a trade, especially when when it's high in pieces, grills you want to call that because I think we could, we could consider that a grill trade. You best believe the guys know what they're doing. They're not gonna be just throwing numbers and just throwing figures in. Oh, okay, you want me? To, I'll give you this. They're they're gonna make. They're gonna do everything and their due diligence to make sure that they're not. It's not saying that they're gonna get. They're gonna screw each other one each other over, but it's gonna be as fair as possible. And at the end of the day, both parties are going to be happy. They thought about it. It's been processed. They, you know, and, and that's that's the ultimate thing. Now, and, and the other perspective that you're thinking, is, and it's true, when you're looking at it as, and, a, and a, you just put a number on it and say, okay, well, I know this piece in the market, it goes for this. Then, then and only then is, is when it gets complicated when you do trading because you're not going to see it that way. You're not going to see how long it took you to get that piece, the, the, you know, you might have to wake up in the middle of the night because you might have to, you have to get an, an auction in Japan, in Japan or, or so. So there's things that you have to, you know, it, pieces that that you have. That's another thing with with, with Grail pieces. You you couldn't have said it better because it's not only if it is a, a trade for a common piece, you know the 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 market value. You know how much mm -hmm. it costs you. You know how much it costs the other guy. You know. That if you go to eBay or whatever, you can find it for that much, and the other guys can find it too. You just don't want to pay money, and you don't want you don't want your piece no more. Like let's just trade. Just I just I just don't wanna. I don't need this piece. I already have it. I'm happy with letting it go, and I don't have to put money to buy. I don't know. So it's just a fair trade. But when we're talking about trades like, like for for pieces that they don't come up very often, mm -hmm. that's where you have to put whether. How do you find out piece? No matter no matter how much you pay for it, how much is it gonna take take you to find it? To find it again, how much is it gonna take him to find it instead of you know going coming with me? How much you time you put into it? There's a lot of other factors than just the price tag. That's what when it comes to this, you you can just come up with a different value, and it's not only monetary value. At the end, it's gonna translate to money, but but it is definitely. Not only that, you have to put on your efforts to find it. You, you, maybe you're lucky. Mm -hmm. You were lucky to find it. You can ha consider some luck into it. But, uh, but it's definitely, it's an interesting process to to trade versus just buying. Or buying, purchasing. yeah, because buy, buying uh, to me, buying is like you have a set number. Buying, if you're gonna buy, it, you can't, you cannot mark it up a little bit or come down too low. You can you, negotiate, you, maybe you can negotiate some. But when you have that solid number, that person, if you're trying to trade, they're gonna stay stuck with that number, and there's nothing else you could tell them that's gonna that's gonna make or break the deal. Because no, this is what it's worth. I, I'm not gonna give you anything less or anything more than that. Well, I just have a couple of experience. I just had a couple of experiences where both sellers mm -hmm. on 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 eBay just recently I talked to them, and then they brought it like the, one of them. They brought the price almost half of it down. Yeah. So. You can you can find if like there's another thing like a lot of people think that the asking price on eBay is, is, the, is the final price. price. So that's, extra, that's, the, that's yeah. the other thing. Like a lot of sellers on on toy shows or stores, they will see, they will have. Oh, let me see how uh, this is going for this much. Like no, that's the asking price on yeah. eBay. And then you want me to you want me to pay? No, no. And even on eBay, if you reach out to the sellers, like some of them will, will, will majority of the time, yeah, will, will come up with something. With you. And then if you're lucky enough, like I was, I think I was. I think you like, were. <laughs> like they will come up with you know a, a ten percent, fifty percent, and like I was on this one, the guy went almost fifty percent, or like it was crazy. I'm like, shoot, I'll give me three, <laughs> right? So, <laughs> I'll take three. I take three. <laughs> But 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 it was a it was a good deal. So, but when it comes to trading, now it was it was nice. All kind of like all the pros, and there's a lot of other pros. 
But there's a few cons. Well, that if so, you don't know the person. So yeah, well, that that's the next thing I was gonna talk about. If you don't know the person, you just never know. You know what? If you're gonna act if, for one, if you actually get the item, so that is been, the most nerve wracking. Yes, thing. So I have done a couple of trades with, and unfortunately, everything came out good in those trades, uh, and it was it was through Facebook, you know. And I, of course, you try to get as much information from that person before you even consider a trade, and. You know, you ask you ask for references and things like that, and like I said, fortunately, I, there were some top-notch guys that you know that you know the trade. Mm-hmm. But you know, it was like send me pictures. I need you to send me pictures of the box you're sending out. I need you to send me pictures of the bubble wrap. I need you to send me pictures of everything. Because because uh, when you're buying, even especially when it's a a, 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 a Facebook from a Facebook group or whatever. Mm-hmm. You can pay for with with you know yeah, PayPal you, goods, yeah. and fr- goods, and, uh, goods and goods and services. goods and services and then people will give your money back. Yeah. But once if you're agree on trading and then you send the the figures, mm-hmm. it's the most nerve wracking. If the other guy is actually sending it, like yeah, and, and, just, and so like I said, fortunately, but then I've also seen guys get screwed over and, on Facebook with that, and they say, hey, beware of this guy. I send them my piece, and they never they never send me, and I, and I tried it, and they blocked me. And and so, or they will send a box with just other stuff or whatever. And, and that's ha- that's actually happened on on I know on eBay as well. You know, you just got to be careful when you're buying lots. But that's a whole different subject. But yeah, so so like I said, I I've seen that happen where where they you know they make a, a trade and the one guy pulls through with this you know with, with with the agreement and the other guy doesn't and then at, he's trying to find him and he's shouting him out, seeing hey where are you at? And he I, he blocked me, guys. Y'all helped me out. And that's man, that's. That, that's a horrible feeling because it's like we said, you're not you're not you're not gonna get that money. You for one, you're not gonna get your money, and two, you're not gonna get that piece back. So at least at least if you were gonna be buying it, you could at least get your money back from yes. PayPal if you could do goods and services. But if you trade, your fears are gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. your fears are gone. Your I, money. I haven't yeah. done that many trades uh, with like a non people. Like, I've done a couple of, of trades with with people that I know. You know exactly. So, yeah. But one time, I think it was one of my first trades. It was and it wasn't it wasn't that much. It was just small, you know, pieces and accessories and all that. And it wasn't that much. And the guy was from Canada, mm-hmm. and I didn't thought much about it. And I was like, "Oh yeah, nice. Okay, it's a good trade." And isn't that it was a toxic crusader? So the group it wasn't that big. So okay, so it wasn't even like Ninja Turtles or anything like that. And I'm like, no, it was just a guy, random guy. And then I shipped it, and it was when I shipped it, I'm like. <laughs> what if this guy didn't ship? <laughs> it wasn't, just, yeah, decided to decides to back to up. Not, yeah. yeah, to back up. Unfortunately, he did it. I mean, unfortunately, he didn't, and he came through with it. But I was like, I didn't realize until I shipped it. I'm like, man, I'm so trustworthy. Like trusting people, I'm like, yeah, I should be more aware. And that's that's what I'm doing right now. I don't I don't trade with with that many because you no, know, same, same. I mean, same. I, I ask for references. I asked one time I was gonna purchase from a guy, and then I I asked, uh, and this is I'm not gonna say names, but uh, <laughs> but uh, it was almost a Don deal, and I was almost it was a guy from Mexico, okay, and it was almost a Don deal. It was a big big deal. I was gonna purchase a, a like a freaking big collection, and then first reference that I asked, and the guy told me be aware. Oh, I did a trade, and he never sent me pieces. Yes. Yeah, and then I send him the pieces, and then he he just keeps me, you know, in touch. But uh, it's he been six the months, more than the six runaround. months, and stuff like that. And he's never mm. sent him in the, like. And then when I backed up over the purchase, he was all mad and all pissed off. Like, oh, but you already said, yeah, but yeah, but I said, but I I, I have the right to mm. to say no. And he was all mad and pissed off. And like, all right, I'm sorry, man, but just I didn't tell him the reason why. I feel like it would have made him even more mad. I didn't tell them you got bad reputation, but uh, yeah, but, I mean, but that that's that's so that's that's you have to me, ask for reference. Yeah, me personally, like I said, when it comes to trading, rarely, rarely, and I I think you could agree with me on this. Rarely would I trade with something that I'm not too familiar with, you know. Um, or if like I said, I've only traded with people in Facebook group and and possibly on Instagram too. But people that we know, people that I know, it wouldn't be somebody that's just a random person that hey, you know. Mm. You want to trade this piece for this piece, and it, especially if it's a high end piece, I, I, oh my, I just I would rather there was a there was a possibility for me to to go for some pieces, uh, and it was a, a couple of pieces for muscle mods. The guy wasn't even offering them. Like I just I just reached out, 
and it was a couple of of uh, stray cats. Mm-hmm. And he showed a little bit of interest, but he wasn't because when he posted it, he didn't he didn't say he was for sale. He was just showing them. Yeah, figures. and uh, I okay. asked him. I reached uh-huh. out. Hey, would you be able to sell? Or he asked me for a couple of pieces. If I had them, I didn't have the pieces that he want, but I could, you know, I show him more and all that. But at the end of the day, if I would have done that, that that would I would have rather fly over. There you go. Uh huh. To this speed to this place because it was it was a bunch of money. Yes. Uh, it even even on trades, it was a lot of it was a high value pieces that I would have had to let go. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I would rather go see the pieces. Of, but, yeah, but I mean, because I don't know the guy. I don't think I will. I will see, be ever comfortable sending. I don't know five. I don't know a five thousand, ten thousand worth of figures, and then oh, no. pray to God to. to yeah, then hopefully it makes it. And he hopefully sends, he, he sends it to me. Yeah, I'm like, no. Nah, I'll, I'll, but but at the end of the day, the guy, you know, he never he never come to. We never come to an agreement. He never agreed to anything. So the, so right. yeah, trades. I think trades could be fun. Um, you know, in a perspective where, like I said, you, you could value your figure, but you could go up a little value or come down a little bit, but it's to work each one another out. And like we said, you know, if it's a piece that you want and it's a piece that person wants, you know, it's, it's and it's a done deal. It's exciting. To me, it's ex- it, it, to trade it can actually be exciting. To purchase can also, can also be exciting, but at the same time, it's like, we you know, we, we said this before. Say you purchase a piece and <clears throat> they mail it out. And it gets it gets lost in the mail. Sometimes you're like, man, I don't even care about the money. I care more for the piece because it's hard to get. It's hard to find. Mm-hmm. And those are those are the things that that we look at. Because I know whenever I order, a, if I get a high end piece, I'm just waiting at the mailbox, waiting for it to come in, <laughs> for the simple fact that I want to make sure you made it. You know. And then we, we're, we're having sometimes this. Sometimes I found myself like in front of the in front of the door next to the window. Just, just yeah, to like a little set. So and and you remember when I had all those pieces at at the post office? Remember the post office at one point? And I think oh, we I talked had, about yeah, it was yeah. was jammed up. I was I was I didn't even care about the money. Like I just want my pieces. And they were actually sitting in the post office about like three to four weeks, about a month. It was taking a lot. Yeah, and I was like, geez, I have I had some nice pieces in at the, at the post, <laughs> and I'm, I'm hoping they don't get they don't get damaged. Because I see pictures of boxes stacked on top of one another, and like, oh man, like this thing's gonna get damaged. So, that that's that to me, I think that I rather prefer, believe it or not, trading than buying. But buying is, is a necessity too. It's something you, I think that happens more often than trading. Yeah. But in this case, like I said, the the deal that you made, I man, I, I was like, wow, it's, it's that's it wouldn't have happened another way. Yeah, no it, way. it wouldn't happen with throwing money. I mean. We we say this, and I said this before. You know, I'm I'm with you. I, it's hard for me to let go of a piece that I really want to keep in my collection. Is everything worth? Does everything have a price? Everything has a price tag, but it it has to be triple, quadruple yeah, the amount that you know the the market value is because you're not gonna let it go for the simple fact that you knew how long it took you to get. There's pieces like I said that I have in my collection that took me. I think the longest was that Euro Shredder took me about four years to find, and now he just comes out on eBay and like. Every, every, every now. <laughs> yeah, but then, but then, you know, we talked about the grade that it got. You know, it's it almost a, like yeah. damn near ripped out the card. It was so clean. I'm like, wow, you know, I just, mm-hmm. and it came from Germany, so you already know I was. I had to wake up early to get it to win the bid on it. I think like, I had to wake up like at five in the morning, and then mm-hmm. then once I get it, you know, it's in Germany, so it's gonna take a little longer for me to get it. So I was just hesitant and exactly. waiting and waiting and waiting, and like, man, when this, as soon as the box came, in, I just. <laughs> like you like you, you opening a prison on Christmas. Just... I think I think that's and then just co- touching by when when you were saying about the the excitement of of opening a new figure. He said yes. I think is that if you ever open a, a figure or a gift on Christmas, which I hope hope you did either Christmas or Reyes Magos. I don't know. <laughs> I, hope was, I, I hope I don't know. I didn't get that many toys when I was a kid, so that's well, what I'm saying. Well, okay, well he says I think on your time were they even giving out. At your time, I mean, I'm pretty sure they were giving out presents that had action figures where you ripped out, you know, because nowadays. When you open, like, you open Christmas presents, right? Yeah, 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 of course, of course. Yeah, e- e- even though uh, my family weren't, like, super rich, of course, there was always presents. There was always something. Yeah, but yeah, what I'm yeah, getting yeah, at is yeah, because yeah. of the, his, his generation is where I get, like, they didn't give you video yeah. games and say, where, well, oh, we're going to give you an app, we'll give you money for your but app but so it, you can put whatever, it in your phone. Whatever they want to give you, you didn't even know if they're going to give you a video game or a. Mm-hmm. But it was, it was that feeling. 
of opening the gift before Christmas. You know, for me, for me, it was a little bit different. My experience opening and toys when I was a kid is a little bit different because my parents are Christians and they didn't told us that uh, that Santa existed or it was or, or it was like like Jesus that giving you this this presents. What they did is that a day earlier or a day after Christmas. They took us to a to a, to a toy store and we just go through through every aisle to pick a toy. Oh wow! And that whole experience was amazing, but I th I, I didn't have that thing of the Santa and opening oh, that. Thing. Oh. I did it with, with with my cousins. I we couldn't tell them that we we, we couldn't tell them that that Santa wasn't real. But Santa's yeah. real, guys. Santa's oh, real. Yeah, Santa's Santa's real, real. By the way, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I always put in the in the, in the YouTube. This is not for kids. <laughs> but yeah, uh, my, my my experience is different. But I really loved it. That those specific days that you go to a toy store and you are going to pick your new toy. That was amazing. Yeah. And this is like like that's cool stories like that. You know, it's something you remember. And yeah. that's what we're talking about, opening a package. But but is know? that is that is that feeling? I, I remember you asking me what was the feeling and all that. Like I feel like it's that feeling. And if we open every time that you open a figure, it, even though you know what figure is in it. Even though you leave if, the buy opens a box every <laughs> single day for no, the past I used to. Boy, I used 365 to. days. I used to it's not still anymore. <laughs> that's every two days. <laughs> okay, <laughs> every two days now. <laughs> but uh but yeah, it's that feeling. You you get that that warm feeling of opening a, a it feels like a present. Of course, is you just purchase yeah. it for yourself, and and you know and you know what it is. You know that's, that's what I say. You know what's coming. You know what it is. So that like it's it's one of those feelings where, you know, and that's why when you if you're gonna decide to trade it, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you better that, have that same you better have that same feeling when you get that piece that's coming to you from you know from yeah. that trade. So that's why that's why I was you know we keep reverting back to that because I mean I'm like I said it, it was an epic trade it was a grill <laughs> grill on grill trade guys it was yes. a grill on grill trade guys yes. and y'all understand once we once we let the cat out the bag y'all understand what it is and and you, you know, probably should have waited until we had the the trade made to no, them, no but, because we keep the people in suspense I know, you know? it wasn't my intention that but but, but trust me guys mm -hmm. it will soon be be revealed revealed yeah and, and do you believe this is a good strategy to get like these really high end pieces? Like I, I took to to at, at least study the person that has it and see if you can like get a really good bundle of stuff I, I, and I, try I to see it is, is that a good strategy. I, 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 like I think that. it is like because because me and him, for both of us, they've offered a lot of money for our pieces, mm -hmm. and we never let him go. So I've got offers for my piece and he's got a lot of offers for his piece mm -hmm. and we never let it go. It and wasn't it, until he wanted my piece and I wanted his piece. And I was like, all right, okay, now it's time for, for us to, okay, we can, we can make something happy and make it. Yeah, trade. yeah, exactly. Because I don't know the, 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 the price of, of the value of that figure sounds super I don't know. Some sounds bad, but it's more than just money. Mm -hmm. It's not easy to get money, but if you work hard enough and you put your effort in it, you make yeah, money. Yeah. There's pieces in this collect in a collection that no matter how hard you work for it, I, I think I no think matter any, how much money you have, I think any collector, any any hardcore collector. I mean, you, it, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say every collector, but I think any hardcore collector can agree to what you're saying because it is true <clears throat> there's pieces that like i said that i've been offered some money and and i i don't even i don't even hesitate to say let me think about it. i just said no no i can't i'm sorry i can't no no because no and, and so and the reason being because we know how the you know how long it takes us to get it you know the you, the money comes I, it, it, I, we don't want to sound snooty we don't want to sound anything like that but money comes and goes you you don't and it's really funny because because some people can argue that Carlos is a reseller. So hey, you, here's money. You should yeah. be able to. And I'm like, and uh, it's funny because Carlos has a very defined line between his PC and, yes. and his store. So whatever it goes to his PC, it's, it's really really hard to get to, to get it out. Yeah, it, it is. And so when it usually usually if I do resell because I've gotten like two euros at one time uh, and I actually sold one. And it wasn't hard for me to let it go. It, it really wasn't. And so, if I, if, you know, being that it took me so long to find one, you know, I wasn't gonna let it go. And then I have two of them. I, I sold it right away. Yeah, but you had so, two. Yeah, and then and you had you kept the the 
The graded one, of course. They, they, they're good. But they're the, other good one was, the other one was in really good condition, too. It was, it was, I think this thing would have made a high grade as well. Yeah. I don't think it would have made a 90, but it would have made maybe an 80, 85. Mm-hmm. So that being said, you know, it's just one of those deals where, we, you know, being a reseller, you have that fine line of of what you want to keep, what you're gonna what you're gonna keep in your PC. What can you sell eventually? Mm-hmm. But if it, the way I see it is, if it, if it's a common figure, even a high end piece, they'll come, they'll come and go. They they, they come. In. But when you have those grow pieces, that is where you have, yeah the trading it, it, and it's, that it comes is fun. To, it's fun. Yeah. Last time and then this one I can talk about because you know the trade was made and all mm-hmm. that. Before that, uh, I met a guy from Dallas. Mm-hmm. We were talking and all that, and he was like, "Oh, I'll come down to Houston." And it was a Saturday, and I was at a, I was at a, I was at work, so I work. You know, I, most a lot of people know that I'm a photographer, so I was working a wedding, mm-hmm. and I was like, right, "But I can only meet you, meet you, you know, around at, at midnight because after I'm done with with my with my gig, I can I can I can meet you up." And I, I I just brought one piece because I thought he was bringing just one mm-hmm. or two pieces. I, I think I was bringing um, one of the, the, the giant trolls. He he asked me for Raphael. Mm-hmm. And he was he had uh, two of the funky pets, mm-hmm. Goku and Krillin. And we we're going we're gonna to make the fair trade right there, like mm-hmm. uh, just straight up. But I didn't know he was gonna bring the whole friggin' story. The whole, the whole, yeah, the whole so Dragon Ball he, collection. He opened, <laughs> he opened up the trunk of his car, which, by the way, we 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 did it at a, at a gas station. So we look, it looked like we were like trading drugs so, or whatever yeah. at midnight at a gas station. With all, trunk open, it looks so, super suspicious. But anyways, <laughs> but it was a super fun experience, you know, because once he opened it, to, to me it was one of those, you know, scenes where like the where you open know. you open up the the briefcase and like the gold shines yeah. through your face. To your face, I was like, "Oh my God, what you got here?" And then, and then he got like a lot of nice pieces, and he brought a couple of pieces just to show me. Mm-hmm. And then I ended up like convincing him, like, "Nah, up, man." I was surprised you ended up with this car too. You should just give me the whole car. <laughs> <laughs> and I I only brought the the Raphael, and he got so many nice pieces. I'm like, "Bro, I have other two trolls at home. I have uh, Donatello and and Leo complete." Mm-hmm. And, and he was like, all right, so once he agreed on it, I'm like, all right, so we're talking about we are 45 minutes away from my house. I'm like, no, 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 let's let's go get it. Like, he was crazy about the trading too, right? So we ended up, like, talking and trading, and he came to the to, to my place, which I know him. He's, he's yeah. a good fella. Yeah, he's a trustful, yeah. So he came in, he, he, he you know, he mm-hmm. was here at the collection. But it was like 2 a.m. in the morning, something like wow. that. We ended up like... So we had a lot of fun, not only trading, mm-hmm. but talking and talking figures and, you know, so trading is a fun, fun it, it's experience. A, it's a fun experience because both, I think, especially both, when you do it in, in person, I feel like. I, yeah, because I think both parties understand and have the same, the same feelings, the same sentimental feelings that, you know, when it comes to collecting mm-hmm. or action figures, you have the same, you know, um, in, things in common when it comes. I, I feel like a lot of, a lot of collectors, believe it or not are different but at the same time there's so much in common with everything yeah it's in common with yeah i feel so i feel so nice that i didn't have to spend bring here, money yeah. spend money to it i'm like it's 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 not it's it's something that i don't i don't do that often mm-hmm. and please i don't do this too often so don't <laughs> hit me up looking for <laughs> trades i don't trade too much unless you have something super super rare on, on things that I, that I want mm-hmm I might consider something, but it has to be something equally rare to what I have. Yeah, exactly. But uh, but I don't do that too often. And and now I honestly, if I if I don't know the person, if I don't know, especially if it is in a different country, I, it just it's, uh, that's, that's that's the worst. That's the that's hard that's part of the training. Like yeah. it's it's super difficult for me to to let go, uh, unless there's a guy that okay. If you're willing to send me the pieces, and then once I get them, if you trust me enough to send you, but, that, like, but it, it goes both ways. I it mean, goes both yeah, ways, yeah. right? So if you see me and you trust me, right? So but I don't know you. I don't exactly. So it's super hard, and a lot, most people will, will never agree to that. Like, what do you mean? I'll send you my pieces, and until you get it, so so Isaias, now that you're hearing this, what would you prefer doing? Would you rather trade? Or buy? How, how would you, you feel more, more safe? Thing? Yeah, would you? What would be more of a safer thing for you to do? Um, I believe that I have more experience doing trades. In when I was really young, the first like 
things that I do to get like an Xbox or a computer, I did it through trading and I, I trade my phone and I receive mm. a computer and then and then I trade my Xbox and I receive this. So I have I, I like that. It's a really good experience. But um I'm a really like methodic person and I I will really get into the numbers. I really would like to see the tag and the whole th th that part of the sentimental value and if you when can find if, if it's a rare piece or not, that would be Really hard for me to, to get because around Because you're, you're not taking in consideration the yeah. fact that like you're talking about phones, computers, maybe cars or that's cameras day, or whatever. That's an everyday thing that's you see literally, every day. Like, that's an everyday thing. Like you can get a, go over there and buy it at, at, a, at a, you know, Best Buy or, exactly. or a Walmart, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then if you, you know how much it de depreciates if you find and use, like you kind of have a, an estimate of the actual value. We're talking about things that, you rarely see or or especially what we're talking about this kind of trades so there's other values that you have to take in consideration which sometimes makes the trade a little bit harder because if you put too much some people put too much sentimental value mm -hmm. so it's not only how hard it was for you to to find it but oh but this was a piece that you know i had when i was a little guy and, and then i found a guy that has a, some hardcore pieces and he was like he's not he won't budge. It was not. He's not. Yeah, and, and that happens like sentimental value. I, and we're talking about trades that, that usually do happen, but I'm pretty sure there's trades out there that somebody has a little bit too much sentimental value that they think they they could ask for the for the skies, for the sun, and, and you know, it's really not, market-wise, is not, you know, worth that much, I guess, what they're thinking it is because they mm. probably got it from their dad and their dad passed away. And they didn't want to let it go. So, and then sometimes that's when you convince them, hey, you know what? If that's so much you want, just keep just it. Just keep it. Just you're keep not, it. Yeah, because and, and honestly, I'm talking about, again, when whenever you guys see the trade that we made, that I made, you will, you will understand. But most of the trades, you can track the prices and see the market value and all of that. But mm -hmm. on this one's, Maybe my figure is a little bit more. I think, look, honest. If you want, if you if you really think about it, I think people would understand. They're gonna understand. The no, they li listen. So the piece that you're getting is is very rare, but a lot of people don't know about that piece. Mm -hmm. So they're not gonna understand you in that perspective because that line is is scarce. I think that's I think that's, I think that, that's that's kind of like where 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 we meet. The, the the criteria yeah because the, the 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 piece that i'm getting the piece that he's offering he's m super rare but the line is not as popular so it's a super hard to find toy line but it's not as popular and it's, if it is not as popular so it's expensive because it's, it's a small tiny group but they go for for too much because the figures are super scarce mm -hmm. scarce 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 yeah now the piece that i got it, it, it's well known. It's one of the top lines it's, you could get. It, but it, it's one of the, the most popular toy lines. And in one of the most popular toy lines, it, the one of the it's most super popular rare, lines, yeah. rare to find that piece. Not only super rare to find, it's rare to find in this condition that I have it. And I think I gave it away right there. So at the, the beginning, I thought that, bo th that you were giving a really high value piece for a, rare, a, a really rare piece. Like, like it's really hard to find one. So both of the pieces, oh, I mean, both of the pieces on the trade are hard to find. Mm -hmm. Both of them. Yes. Yes. Okay. But mine might be a little bit. It's not common. It's not common. Not in the, in the condition that I have it. Not even. No. But. So I, I'm, I'm going to say it in my perspective. Because but I, being I, from I'm, a popular line. I'm looking outside the window because this is a trade that Ulysses made. So if, if you want to take, you know, some criticism or whatever you want to call it, you know, I'm, I'm looking at you. You're looking at it from a, a different standpoint because he made the trade, so he's happy. But the way I'm seeing it is, it, it's, it, it may sound, it may not sound logical to some people because, like we said, the line that the, the figure that he got is from a, from a line that's not too popular. Not, not, not a lot of people know about it compared to this other line. This this other line is is it's booming. Everybody knows about it. And within that line, the actual the actual figure in that line is it's it's rare to find. It's rare to find in that condition. That's like the main thing. The condition is everything. So that's why I think it's a fair trade. I think it's a fair trade. 
And I think if anything, that that figure and that figure is what make the trade. If you ask me, mm. yeah, no, for that real. figure. I mean, yeah. yeah, you have other figures. If he didn't have that figure, I would I would never the let tra- go the- my my pieces. And if I didn't have this figure, he will never exactly. Let so go. It, it, I I think if if you want to put it in that this piece and this piece. Uh, from because Ulysses is giving more pieces away. It's not just one. He's giving multiple pieces for that. But that trade wouldn't have happened if that piece didn't come with it. Mm. I, okay. That if I may, you know, I, I'm I'm looking at it in my perspective. I may be wrong, but they'll be here and we'll ask that question because that's the question I want to ask. What what made if this piece didn't come with that? What with with that with that with that uh, uh deal would have been made. Mm. Which I would agree with. There should have been an agreement with it. Yeah, we'll have him as a guest, by the way. Carlos, yeah. and do you have a a piece that you don't want to let go, but you will be willing to trade it for? Do you have that on mind or? No? Um. The 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 difference between me and Ulysses is Ulysses he gets crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you. So there are pieces that I'm like wow, but. It takes a lot for me to let something go. It really All does. Right, so let's 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 put it more like let's more specific. Which will be a piece on your collection that you will say you'll never let go. Never, never, never. I, I wouldn't say one piece that I probably let go. Well, no, we'll both, never let go. No, like what? Well, what's your favorite piece on your collection? One of the favorite pieces. One of, of course, I think everybody knows is that Euro Shredder. The Euro Shredder mm-hmm. graded ninety. Mm-hmm. Okay. If somebody will come and said. He has a, a, a graded, loose graded. Of course, it's not going to be the same price, but be willing to trade like for a fake early you. That, it, it, yeah, I don't know you're going to say that one. That That's the piece. That's the, that's the only piece. That's that where I, you are. All right. But that guy will never let go unless he has a your shredder 90. Mm-hmm. Would you? Be, I know you have to put some money in oh, it. Oh, yeah. But you will let it go. Yes. That'd be the only piece. So, that, he started with no, but it no, is. No, no, there no, is. no, no. It's because you didn't let me finish. I, that's that's the piece I was gonna say. If anything, the only piece that I feel like, man, I really want in my in my hands would be a Leo Faker. That's that. If I, y'all won't see me go crazy. Oh my god, you know, yeah. I, I trust me. I like high end pieces. I like grills. I like I like things. How much? Like, let's say how much you'll have to put, or you'll be willing to put, not money wise, but trading wise. Like you'll put the if if the person listen if the person if the person was actually let's a, say the a guy fan. let's let's say the guy it's it's it was a Motu guy mm-hmm. and he's real real as uh, ready ready to move on to to turtles and uh-huh. he was, that's what he's letting go his his faker and he will he he wants I don't know the Yoda shredder and the and the undercovers mm. will that be too much uh, I think the undercovers are probably would I'll probably give him a scratch the scratch the mock. Okay, the mark and then and then the 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 Yosha, and I think that's I think that's more than that's good enough. The, the scratch mark that you have, yes, is it graded? No, it's not graded, but it'll make a high grade. It should make an eighty plus eighty. Okay, 80 so plus. the the scratch mark plus the Yosha the shredder. shredder, and then for a loose faker, we're not talking about a, a loose, mark. We're talking uh, about a loose grade. Oh, uh, if a mock, you'll give no, 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 turtle, no. All, yeah, all the, if, if it was a mock, I'll give the turtles. I'll, <laughs> the I'll, other I'll the covers, tur- the other covers. I'll, I'll give the, the, the and, and, and the and chun chun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> want some chun chun? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, whatever it takes, guys. Whatever it takes to get that Leo figure. Hey, we, we 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 talked about addiction the other day, right? Uh-huh, right. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So if it was a mock, oh man, um, that would be my. I, I just looking at it, I was like, you know what? It was well worth it. It yeah. really was. So, um, but yeah, that that's pretty much what I would have to give up. That's the only but piece. See, like that, there's there's a piece that you will let go your pieces for. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, there is there is. I I, I wasn't gonna say no, but it'd be really hard. But what I'm getting at is, there's not a lot of pieces out there that I, I really want so bad. I like, I'll give this up for it. The faker would be the only thing no, I could but, think but of. That, that's what he was asking. Yeah. Is, there, so, is there a piece? Yeah. So not everything is for sale, but everything is tradable. <laughs> you can trade for it. Oh, yeah. well, there are you. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. a good. That's Moral a good. of the story, guys. Everything's for trade. There's things that are tradable. Not, not, yeah, not everything. But not everything for sale. For sale. Hey, but that's it, a but, perfect but, way to put it. Yeah. yeah. I think I think you can you can seduce a collector easier with, with a piece, figure yes, yes. than with money. Like sometimes, sometimes people will just no. I, I mean, and this is a perfect example. So I mean, uh, we we were doing an Instagram live one day and um. You know, some some kid was on the on on the um, on the you know on the live stream with us, mm-hmm. and he came out with the water money. 
you know, and you know, with, with, you, the what? with the wad of money, some money, you know, in his hand, which is that like, he wasn't like trying to be, you know, but he was just, oh, look what I, and, and like, I think Imperial was on there, Cracker, we we're all on there, and we're like, we're just, whatever, I mean, this guy had like hundreds of dollars of, of, of bills, you know, and we're like, whatever, you know, like, mm, we're not, we're not impressed right. because if you're trying to seduce us with money for these figures, we're just like, eh, you know, like yeah, show, and, show and me and I is on my high yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like, you know, and, and we're like, we're just, man, without that, we'll just say you an accessory for that. if you want. <laughs> and so that, that's what we're getting at. It, you know, it's not to sound snooty. It's not to sound anything like that. It's just, it's just, we, we, we know it takes money to buy these high end figures, but it takes a lot of the time. I think it's, it was it's worth more than the money. It was you exactly put it there. what, well, when, when this, when this guy offered money for my, for my feet, for my figures, and I told him, and very respectfully, and I think I believe we were we were live or I, 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 something like that. And mm -hmm. I told him, like, very respectfully, and I'm not trying to sound cocky or sound nothing, but, but right now, money doesn't seduce me mm -hmm. for my figure. Like, so I was trying to be respectful mm -hmm. with this offer because I don't want to be like an ass or whatever. But I'm just like, nah, I just I'm I'm just trying to be respectful, but. Yeah. I don't think there's a price tag right now that you can put to make me sell your my pieces. Well, well, but it wasn't until we brought his piece all that. All right, now. We're well, there. I mean, so so can you agree to with me or no on everything does have a price on it? Everything does. Like, but, but I don't think but, any of us will want we'll to pay double, pay quadruple, quadruple, yeah. quadruple for a piece. So everything has a, pr a surprise, and it'll be it'll be a very specific multi-millionaire yeah, collector what happened, whatever yeah. is willing to not care about what other people say and then he will just you know freaking go yeah, crazy even, even, even the person with I mean but but I, yeah everything has a price like if you come up with a triple price on I'll sell yeah, it I, th I think anybody that, that actually has like well let's say they're they're, they're multi-millionaires even they're, they're still going to try to find a bargain so anybody yeah anybody so i don't think you know I, I mean we could say that that everything has a price which it does but it has to be at a, at a outrageous at number a reasonable where, yeah, yeah, yeah you don't like, want to there's there's something that is kind of like a little bit of an unspoken thing like it's you don't want to be a laughable to other collectors like oh this guy yeah is <laughs> paid off this much and and i've said it before that i've overpaid for a couple of pieces but i'm happy with those because i know they're super rare Mm -hmm. But one guy took it out of context and he said, oh, yeah, he said he was talking about me. Like, oh, yeah. He even said that he's overpaid. I'm like, yeah, but not for all my collection. Like, <laughs> like, no, yeah. you, you'll see me looking for, for trades and deals and then and, and good. I think I, it, honestly, no matter how yeah, much yeah. money can I have or anybody has, because I don't think I have a lot of money. But no matter how much money you have, you are always trying to find a good deal like mm -hmm. this. It, it is within. Because it's not only one piece that you're looking. You're looking to get a collection, and you you need to go. You, you know yeah, that you, you have to go for another piece and another piece and another piece. So you're always trying to. And find unfortunately, unfortunately, we're looking for these pieces nowadays. If it were back in the days, it would have been so much easier. But who knows what the yeah. future is gonna say? Maybe in ten days, and uh, ten days and ten years, this is gonna be a good. These are all these are gonna be good deals, right? You never mm -hmm. know. You never know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the market, the market. Like I said, they we can either the market. all up or just. We run the market, down. and that's pretty much how it is. So everybody keep collecting, guys. We're, we're the ones making the market, keep you know? Keep the hunt. Yeah, keep, keep the, the hunt, hunt going alive. and uh, keep collecting and keep buying and keep throwing outrageous numbers. And <laughs> <laughs> Yuli, and, uh, keep going you, crazy, Yuli. If you have hard to find pieces, hit me up. You know, I, 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 might, I might trade you off with, with something that you got. I might have something that you... You, you, you got a Leo Faker for me? I, I, I don't, but if I find it, I'll just first uh, get it for me. And oh, then. man. <laughs> Would yeah. you would you get would you do that something like like I don't know let's say you you know that I want to I don't know I don't I don't have an example right now but mm -hmm. let's say what piece would I want right now like like something super oh, okay so for the muscle months mm -hmm. let's say that that I started muscle months before you did but you did you did yeah yeah I'm saying like okay. I started the muscle months before you did and all that and you know that I'm going crazy with muscle months yes. and and those eBay and I hate you for uh, that. Yeah, and so like, <laughs> But let's say you find the straight cards, the straight cards, the straight cards, and then you have the opportunity to buy it. As if I will find a a, a Leo Faker. Oh. And then I I had the opportunity to find, but I know you've been a mo a hardcore multi collector mm -hmm. before I did. 
Would you let pass the, the straight cut? So would I let pass the, the, the Leo Faker? Would you buy the, the, the like, would you say? Mm. So you're you're saying if there's an opportunity, I find the straight cats and I find the Leo Faker. No, no, no. Forget or, about the Leo Faker. Okay, Let's so, say you find the straight cats. Okay, I find cats. the straight cats. Okay. And you, and you, okay. And so, then you have the opportunity to buy it. Okay. Would you, would you pass it to, to me knowing that I'm a, and this is more a personal question. Like, No, I would buy them so you could buy the faker so we could. <laughs> But if I if, if I don't find a faker, like it wouldn't be until I find a faker. But like I don't know if I will. Okay, okay, so okay, so I, I'm I was thinking I'm thinking you're saying at the same time, like say you were to find a faker. Not at the same time. Not okay, the same. Okay. Or or would you feel bad if I find a Leo faker, and then instead of passing the deal for you, like no, I, if I, I no, it? no, 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 I, I I wouldn't feel honestly. Like I said, I would never feel any type of way. I don't. I feel, will I will feel betrayed if you don't pass <laughs> the straight cats. If you find them and you don't, <laughs> because <laughs> what if I want them too? But but I want him first. I wanted him first. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So so okay. So so then honestly, those are those are conversations I think me and you have to have personally because <laughs> we, we never talked about it. So, All right. So no, no okay. So right here, if I ever find a Leo Faker, I'll let it. I'll let it. Okay. I'll let you get it. If you find those straight cuts, okay. Okay. You let me get it. Yeah. Right. Yes, it. sir. Even though you, I know you want those straight cuts. And no, I know, no, no, I know. De I, I, definitely, and the reason why, I, you know. Like I said, yeah, there will be an awesome piece. Unless it's super cheap, I'll keep that Leo figure. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, it, I mean, th those are certain things that, like I said, we have to come in agreement upon, which we, we have agreements We've done ourselves. And, 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 you know, I think it, it goes really swell. You know, I mean, I don't, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be like, oh, I'm going to get it right now and I'm going to just throw it in his face. I would never do that. I, that's one thing I would never do. But at the same time, if I know how much you like it and how much you want it, I'll do like, hey, here's an opportunity. But now that you're collecting muscle months, I'm pretty sure you want the straight cuts. You, you I would want them, but I wouldn't want them as bad as you do. If if, if you if you're talking to me about a faker, yeah, that's totally different. <laughs> that, that's, that, 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 like I, I said, want it too, but I know I don't. It's not. Yeah, like, so that's what I'm saying. If there's a faker involved or or something like that, you know, in, in, in that aspect, yeah, I mean, I would like to get the, the straight cats. I'm not saying I wouldn't, but it wouldn't be something to be, I, you know, it'd be something like, oh, I, I'm happy, mm -hmm. but. The faker would be like, "Damn, I'm I'm happy, man. Like this is what I want. This is what I've been and I've always said I'm I'm still looking for one, but I need to find one in good condition because I know how I am. when anything yeah, yeah. my PC needs to be, if it, but I know it's not gonna be cheap. Yeah. So, thank God, thank God you guys agreed on that because I I almost thought that you guys were gonna finish the podcast. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> we're gonna yeah, <laughs> and uh, and uh, end the podcast. This is the last uh, last yeah, of our episodes. Episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Well, thank you, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoy the topic of, of today. Yeah. Uh, about trading. And if you ever had any crazy stories about trading, let us know in the comments. In the comments, guys. Like the video. Uh, share the video. And thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Isaias. And uh, one, one more thing. I mean, we, I know we talked about this. Um, I do want to give a shout out to uh, Mondo with H HTP, Houston yes. Toy Cycles. Um, we, we don't really do this. And, and we kind of talked about this doing towards the end. Of the, the video but if there's any shows coming up if y'all guys are in the houston area mm -hmm. I, I usually post uh when there's gonna be a show and and, and when yours truly is gonna be in the show as well so i'll yeah. be at the show um it's gonna be on the 28th of april and it's called the houston, houston toy cycles um show so i know i know you've been at them and yeah it's it, a nice show it's one yeah of the nice, nice shows, shows on very on you know there. music food you know it's, it's a very a vintage new vintage yeah. and that's they always nice have good show so I just want to do that, you know, give out a shout out to some of the local guys here, you know, putting up shows, putting out shows, you and, know. And we mentioned that about, uh, we mentioned about it, like, cause even though I know a lot of people see us, you know, everywhere, I was I was shocked that we got a, a, right before we started filming, we got a comment on, like, someone, some guy watching us in Japan, so it's pretty cool. So, yeah, yeah. But I will also want to support the local business. Yeah. We are from Houston. So and if y'all and like I said, if y'all traveling to Houston, you know, these are dates. Off, yeah, these are dates. Know. Let us know. And we, we can either let you know about shows or mm -hmm. we can let you know about good stores carlos stores is nice but there's a lot a lot more good yeah there's good a lot of stores, stores in the area uh if you ever be in uh in the area of houston we just you know let us know we'll, we'll, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll like to like to send you the, down that way you know yeah but shout out to the htp uh, yeah um, people, community yeah community. community guys and like i said mondo you know always showing support so you know just something something like that would be nice just to you know yeah shout out the people and and absolutely yeah there's a lot of nice and, and cool people here in the in, in houston and that's what i like you know that's, all right all right all right thank you guys thank you everyone and have a good day keep the haunt alive and keep stay. keep keep collecting keep the haunt keep and keep the train train we're keeping train the market up guys let's keep it up <laughs> all right bro. all right take care take all care right. see you